In today's video we're going to look at one thing that all good animators have in common. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now, as I've mentioned in the intro of this video, today we're going to look at one thing that all good animators have in common. One trait that they're all... Um, implement and do and work on and that is observation okay so what do I mean about observation well before I get there um, uh, this is something actually um, I've created a video for my YouTube members where I did an interview with Mark Diaz from 2D Animation 101 and I asked him um, what are the five things that any animator can do or implement that will improve their animation and one of the things he mentioned was observation, to observe and to look around and learn from your surroundings or learn from things that you are watching. And um, so as he was speaking, I actually realized that this was something that I did. It was one of the ways I learned in the beginning when I started out my animation um, journey. And so basically what how I realized this was when I started, I never knew what... Um, the 12 principles of animations were. I, I never knew what it was. I never knew squash and stretch or anticipation or all those things. Um, but what I did um, realize when I watched animations is I saw that when a character does a certain movement, he squashes. When he jumps, there's a little bit of a stretch. And when he lands, he squashes again. When he wants to punch, there's always a pose and then he punch. So that is actually anticipation. So even though I never knew what these terms were, um, I picked it up from other animations. And that is exactly what I mean when it comes to observation. Um, if you want to become a great animator, if you really want to improve fast, then it is very important to observe and learn from other animations. So today I want to focus on three things that you can look out for um, and observe when you want to improve your animations. Now this is all in the context of what type of animation you want to do because if you want to create a certain style or a certain type of animation then it is important to go and watch those type of animations to see what they are doing uh, what makes that style or genre um, unique um, so that if you want to create that genre then you know exactly what to incorporate into your animations so the first thing that you can observe or look out for and learn from other animation is movement. So how your characters move. Um, all the different animation genres, they kind of move differently, okay? So for example, um, if you compare Looney Tunes with um, Family Guy, okay? Looney Tunes is a lot more... Um, cartoonish okay so there's a lot of anticipation there's a lot of squash and stretch there's a lot of um, exaggeration um, all the 12 principles of animation it is you can see it a lot more in those animations so if you want that cartoonish looney tunes type of animation then uh, you'll know what to look out for. You need to exaggerate your 12 principles of animations, basically, okay? But if you go over to Family Guy, even though there are a little bit of 12 principles of animation, there's a little bit of squash and stretch, um, there's a little bit of exaggeration, etc. It is not so... Um, heavy it is not so in your face it is very subtle okay so and it creates a whole different type of feel so again depending on the type of animation genre you want to do it is important to see okay but how do they implement these 12 principles of animation are they really exaggerating it or are they very subtle in using it so that will really define your um, 
genre or style that you want to do. So the first thing that you'll need to um, observe in the animations that you watch is uh, movement. How does the characters move, especially when it comes to the 12 principles of animation? Now, the second thing that you can look out for um, and this is also depending on your genre, is the cinematography. So basically your camera placement and your camera movement and how you are telling your story. Again, every animation genre is using cinematography differently. Okay, for example, your anime, um, like your Dragon Ball Z, for example, is a lot more, um, how can I say, um, action driven okay so they want to focus on action moves and they want to exaggerate the action parts of the animation so look at how they do it maybe they add those um, motion lines behind the character when they move to exaggerate the mo the movement of the character um, so with anime Dragon Ball Z, those type of um, shows, there's a lot of focus on action, um, but there's also a lot of close-ups on the face. So that is playing around with your, with cinematography. Then if you go back to Family Guy, for example, I've heard um, somewhere, this, I, I'm not sure if it was The Simpsons or Family Guy, I think it was The Simpsons, but it is more, you can see it more in Family Guy, is they wanted to create a type of sitcom feel to it, okay? So with a sitcom, the camera is a specific height. Um, it's also um, a lot more room focus. So they want to show the room, what they're in, and there's not a lot of close-ups. Um, so they wanted to give a sitcom type of feel. Again, that is... Um, how they use the camera, cinematography. So depending again on the type of genre that you want to do, see how that genre is using cinematography or using the camera to tell the stories. Okay, and then the final thing that you should look out for um, or observe is the pace of the animation. Again, every genre has a different pace um, to it. For example, um, Teen Titans Go is extremely fast paced. Even the characters, they talk fast and it's almost um, rushed. The animation feels rushed. Okay, so it's very fast paced and that is the feel that they want to um, create through the animation. Where other animations, for example, Winnie the Pooh, um, Garfield is very relaxed. Why? Because, for example, Garfield is a lazy cat. Okay, so to make the animation very slow paced and um, kind of slow, it gives you that lazy kind of feel to it. Okay, so you can really look at the pace of your of the animation as well uh, and see the genre that you want to do how are they um, what is the pace of that animation is it very fast paced or is it very slow paced and how does it affect you as the viewer okay like i've mentioned with garfield garfield the whole idea of garfield he is a very lazy cat and um, so it makes sense to make the animation a very slow paced animation it is not rushed everything happens um, very slow and timely etc so those are the three things that i can highly recommend you observe go and watch as many animations as you can and um, specifically if there's a specific genre that you want to do with your animation if you want to do anime go and watch as many anime animations as you can if you want to create something like the simpsons or family guy go and watch as many simpsons and family guy episodes as you can and observe look at those these three things movement cinematography and the pace of the animation and then um, see what are they doing what are the things that you can pick up and learn from them um, through your observation and apply it to your animation.
So guys, those are the three things that I would highly recommend that you observe. But again, like I say, observation is one of the fastest way that you can learn. And it's also the best way to actually um, create your own genre okay you learn from other animations you learn from them see what works see what doesn't work and you apply it to your own animations for example you can learn from what are um the anime genre what are they doing but you can maybe incorporate something from from your sitcom style as well or um this you can l Take a little bit from every genre and you can apply it and you can create your own type of genre, your own style um, that fits your story and your animation, etc. So, um, yeah, observation is one of the key elements of a good animator. They'll always look and learn and look at other animations. They'll look at movies, animation movies and see what are they doing, what is working, and how are they telling their story through movement, the pace, and the cinematography, and then apply that to your animations. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if there are any other things that you have learned by watching other animations. I would love to hear from you. Leave it, uh, leave a comment in the description. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next week uh, with another video. So feel free to subscribe. And also you are welcome. Like I've mentioned earlier, I've got that interview with Mark Diaz where he gave five tips on how you can improve your animation where observation was one of the tips. And um yeah, feel free to become a YouTube member uh, by clicking that join button as well. So guys, I will see you guys next week. So God bless and happy animating.